वेलकम बैक टुडे विल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश फिफ्टी टू एंड फिफ्टी थ्री सो प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज अ शेयर फोर्स ऑफ एटीन किलो न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड टू द सिमेट्रिकल बॉक्स गर्डर डिटरमाइन द शेयर फ्लो एट ए एंड बी एंड इन प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश फिफ्टी थ्री शेयर फोर्स ऑफ एटीन किलो न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड टू द बॉक्स गर्डर डिटरमाइन द शेयर फ्लो एट सी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बॉक्स गर्डर हैविंग टोटल हाइट इज थ्री हंड्रेड and total width is 145 mm and uh, a shear of 18 kN is applied so you have to find the shear flow at a b and at point c so let's start with the solution so we know that generally shear flow is equal to v into q divided by i so first we will find the section property i for this beam box girder so i is section property so how we will find this i for that we will take this whole box as a solid girder and we will find the moment of inertia of this solid girder so its moment of inertia will be equal to 1 over 12 breadth is 145 mm and height is 300 mm I will first write it one over twelve. Breadth is one forty five, so one forty five is in meter is zero point one four five, and height is three hundred, which is zero point three whole q. Then we will subtract this portion from this solid girder. Clear this this girder. So this width is one twenty five millimeter, and height is. Three hundred minus twenty, which is uh, zero twenty-two uh, eighty millimeter. So I will write minus one over twelve. B is zero point one two five meter, and height is two eighty millimeter, which in meter is zero point two eight zero whole q. Now we will add the moment of inertia of this plate plus this plate. So what we will do is that plus two times. One over twelve. Its breadth is one twenty five millimeter, so it is zero point one two five, and height, which is thickness, is ten millimeter, and ten millimeter is zero point zero one power q. Plus, since this plate is away from this neutral axis and this is symmetrical box, so its neutral axis will be this one. let me draw it so this will be its neutral axis so we will take ad square by using parallel axis theorem so this area is 0.125 into 0.01 now what is d square so d square is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section so this will be its d let me draw it clearly this will be its d and how you will find this d so you can see this d will be equal to 100 plus half of 10 which is 105 mm and in meter it is 0.105 so ad square and when you calculate this you will get the moment of inertia of this symmetrical beam girder comes out to be 125.17 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 so this is the moment of inertia of this box girder now we have i so we will find q so first we will find q a q for this a so q for this a will be equal to y dash bar into a dash and what will be the area for this so area for this will be at this is the junction so this will be the area this will be the area so this area is width is 0.125 meter because this is 125 mm and thickness is 0.01 meter which is 10 mm and what what is y dash so y dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section 
till the mid of this section this is your y dash for this upper portion y dash y dash bar and you can see total is 150 so 10 divided by 2 is 5 and y dash is 150 minus 5 is 145 millimeter so in meter it is 0 0.145 so when you multiply it you will get qa which is 0 0.18125 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter q cubic meter now we'll find qb so qb is also again equal to y dash bar let we call it one so it will be equal to y dash one into a dash one what is a dash one so a dash one i will choose another color let this is the a dash two a dash one so this area is the same which is 0 0.125 multiply by 0 0.0 one and what is y2 dash so y2 dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section which is this one y2 y1 sorry y1 h bar and that is 105 so i in meter in meter it will be 0 0.105 so when you calculate it you will get qb will be equal to 0 0.13125 again we will find qc as well so that we should continue with the same so qc will be equal to y dash sum of y dash into a dash now this is the qc let me show you this is c this is c point clear so your qc will con con will cover this area plus this area plus this area and plus this so first we will write it will be equal to the first one is this one so we have already calculated it as uh, is its q da uh, a dash is this one and y dash is this one so i will write 0 0.125 into 0 0.01 multiply by 0 0.145 plus this area this is the second one and the second one will be area is uh, 0 0.01 multiply by 0 0.125 and y dash is 0 0.105 now plus third one is this one so these are two times so two times the area area is uh, 0 0.15 multiply by 0 0.01 into its y dash will be at the half of 150 which we are, which is which will be like this this will be its y dash bar so with 75 so 75 is 0 0.075 okay so when you calculate it you will get qc as well so qc will be equal to 0 0.5375 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter now you have qa qb and qc so we will find first shear flow for a and you can see that here the shear, this point is and this point are these are symmetrical about this neutral axis so sh half of the shear flow will be there and half of the shear flow will be there so at this point a we have shear flow will be equal to 1 over 2 v into q a divided by i so you can just put the value v is given as 18 kilo newton so i will write 18 into 10 to the power 1 over 2 into 18 multiply by qa is 0 0.18125 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by i and i is 125.17 into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you solve this you will get shear flow at a comes out to be 
वन थ्री जीरो थ्री थ्री न्यूटन पर मीटर आर दैट इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर सिमिलरली शेयर फ्लो एट पॉइंट बी विल बी इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू इंटू वी इंटू क्यू बी डिवाइड बाई आई एंड वेन पुटिंग द वैल्यूज वन ओवर टू वी इज एटीन क्यू बी इज दिस वन हेर आई हैवेंट मैंशन क्यू बी इज दिस इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस थ्री क्यूबिक मीटर सो जीरो पॉइंट वन थ्री वन टू फाइव इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस थ्री डिवाइड बाई आई वन ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट वन सेवन इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस सिक्स सो यू विल गेट क्यू बी विल बी इक्वल टू नाइन फोर थ्री सेवन न्यूटन पर मीटर और दैट इज नाइन पॉइंट फोर फोर किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर नाउ विल मूव टूअर्ड द सेवन डैश फिफ्टी थ्री इन विच वी हैव टू फाइंड क्यू सी सो क्यू सी विल बी इक्वल टू क्यू सी विल बी आल्सो इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू इंटू वी इंटू क्यू सी डिवाइड बाई आई सो पुट द वैल्यू वी इज एटीन क्यू सी इज क्यू सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव थ्री सेवन फाइव इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस थ्री अगेन हेयर एटीन किलो न्यूटन सो एटीन इंटू टेन एस पावर थ्री हेयर आल्सो पुट एटीन इंटू टेन एस पावर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई एटीन इंटू टेन एस पावर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई सो डिवाइड बाई टू टाइम्स आई इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट वन सेवन इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस सिक्स सो वेन यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट क्यू सी शेयर फ्लो एट सी इज थ्री एट सिक्स फोर एट न्यूटन पर मीटर आर दैट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी एट पॉइंट सिक्स किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ अवर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन दैट इज सेवन डैश फिफ्टी थ्री and that was all about our this problem 7-52 and 53 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching